Welcome back to Random Recess. It's a betting Chris, and we have something really special for you today. Tonight we're doing the Fantasmic Dining Package. We've never done the dining package here at Hollywood Studios for Fantasmic. It's one of our favorite shows. We decided, why not? Tonight we've chosen to eat at 50's Primetime Diner. We've never eaten here before. We're going to take you along and show you what this dining package is all about. Yeah, and at the end we'll tell you is it worth it. I know we get our own like reserved seating area at Fantasmic, so let's go find out. You know what time it is. It's recess time. Let's go. So if you've never been to 50s Primetime Cafe, it's themed after like a 50s, like you're going to your grandma's house and you're eating with all your cousins. So each seat has like an old timey television. It looks like your grandma's kitchen or living room. It's so adorable in here. Obviously we never lived in the 50s, but so it's gonna be a cool way to experience like what it was like back then. All right, so for the Fantasmic Dining Package, you actually get a few options. You can either get an appetizer or a dessert along with your main course. So all four of us decided to go the appetizer route. Skip the desserts because we've done a lot of sweet stuff today. We kind of want some savory things. So I got a range of appetizers. I got onion rings, Tatiana got the fried cheese, and we got a couple wedge salads coming as well. And for the main courses, I got a couple pot roasts, fried chicken, and a chicken pot pie. So all of that sounds amazing. But that's all included with the price of the dining package is you get, like I said, a choice of an appetizer or a dessert, or you can substitute a milkshake for one of the desserts. So it's not a bad deal, honestly. Um, we're pretty hungry. We haven't eaten much all day. So we're looking forward to the food. Let me just talk about the theming in here. It's so good. It's like TVs playing old timey 50s TV shows at every table. It's like you're at mom's house. And all the servers are your cousins, and there's rules here, like no elbows on the table. And you can't use your walkie-talkies, that's what they call cell phones. When the food gets out, and they yell at you if you break a rule. So it's kind of fun. We're waiting on our food, and then uh, we'll give you some more info on Fantastic. All right, for my entree, I got the traditional pot roast. And for my appetizer, I got the wedge salad. Put everything up on the screen. I just want to talk about it. The wedge salad was really good. It's definitely homemade. It's not like steakhouse quality, right? But it's absolutely delicious. The dressing was really good, very creamy. Well, let's talk about the traditional pot roast. The traditional pot roast tastes just like mom's pot roast. The flavors take you back to when you're a kid. And so it's fork tender. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Did I have bunny ears or something? Yeah. You know how mom is. The pot roast, I don't know if you can tell here, I ate as much as I could, but it is fork tender. I mean, I'm, I'm barely pressing here, and it's just falling apart. As you can see, it was a huge portion. In fact, I kind of wish I had more potatoes. Mashed potatoes were so good. Also highly recommend. If I come here again, I'm getting this, 100%. All right, I got the chicken pot pie. Really, really good flavor. A ton of chicken, and the chicken was really tender. Lots of vegetables. The puff pastry was awesome. Very crispy and flaky. It's just really hearty. It's a hearty meal. I mean, like, look at these chunks of chicken. And they're all throughout, so they don't skimp on it at all. I'm gonna keep going at this and eat as much as I can. I'm getting full. Like Abed said, the portion sizes are huge here. They don't skip, which is awesome. All right, we are stuffed. We just finished our dinner at 50's Primetime. We have about 45 minutes till Fantasmic starts. We're gonna go do some shopping, and then we're gonna head over to the show. So we'll show you where we get our seats at, and maybe show you a little bit of Fantasmic as well, and give you our final thoughts about the whole experience at the end, so stay tuned. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see. All right, we're here about an hour early before showtime. Probably could have come a little later, but we actually just wanted to sit down because our feet are hurting. Uh, after two days of walking like half marathons each day, you know how it goes. But it's nice to sit down. We're here. Plenty of seats. We have like a whole center section just for dining packages. And we are in the fourth row, splash zone. So excited to see the show. It's one of our favorite shows uh, anywhere. And excited to see Taddy and Agnes' uh, reaction to it. They've never seen it. Stay tuned to the end to get everyone's final thought on the show. And uh, we'll see if they liked it or not. Experience Fantasmic. 
a journey beyond your wildest imagination. Final thoughts on the Fantasmic Dining Package. I think it's well worth it. Uh, looking at the prices of everything on the menu, I think that you get a deal for the fact that you get to sit so close and centered. Yeah, it really depends on what you're willing to spend. So it was $54 a person. And if you kind of do the math on what you're ordering from the restaurant, it came out to about the same. So honestly, if you're planning on going and eating before Fantasmic at any of the dining options within uh, Hollywood Studios, then it's probably worth it because you do get a reserve section for you to sit at at Fantasmic, which is amazing. You don't have to worry about fighting people for seats. Everything's right there for you. However, if you're just gonna like grab a snack and you don't mind showing up a little late and you don't care where you sit, yeah, probably not for you. But for us, it was totally worth it and I would definitely do it again. So, for us, it's a random recess recommend. Yeah, absolutely. Check it out if you're coming here to Hollywood Studios and seeing Fantasmic. There's lots of restaurants to choose from. We just happen to choose 50's Prime Time, which we're definitely gonna try again. That. That food was really, really good and it was a fun experience. All right, y'all. Till next time, we'll see you on the next recess. Bye.